So, so Ted, this is really cool. After, you know, after watching and listening to the videos that you gave us, um, we got a few questions that are coming up in the chat box. First one, is it possible to get started with only a few thousand or maybe even a few hundred bucks? Well, you know, in the old days, I used to think to myself that you couldn't do that. But, you know, you really can start with uh, very little money. So I've got a client. His name is B.R. Baker. And he's up in Georgia. OK, now this guy is a preacher. And he came to me and he said, Ted, you know, I don't make very much money and I'm getting a little older and uh, I've got to make some money. And I really like these tax liens and deeds that I've been learning. He said, uh, uh, what do you think? Should I go to the auction? I said, definitely. So he heads over to the auction and they had a house for sale. And he didn't buy it. Uh, so he called me the next day and he sent me this picture, which I'm going to put up on the screen and everybody can see. And it's just a, a, a two bedroom, one bath, a little house, maybe worth 65000 something like that. And it's uh, in a nice neighborhood. It's well kept, got fruit trees, all this kind of stuff around it. The people had passed away hmm. and nobody paid the tax. And, and I said, well, why didn't you buy it? He said, well, I didn't believe it. I said, what do you mean you didn't believe it? He said, the starting price was $316. I said, oh. I said, you didn't buy it. Who did? He said, well, nobody did. There was nobody at the auction. Whoa. I said, nobody at the auction. Now, that's the problem. The problem is there's 5,000 auctions, and the only place they advertise an auction is in that town. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to buy in Prince George's County, you don't even know what's going on over in Arundel County. Hmm. Nobody. So if you aren't watching all these auctions, so I said, go back and see if it's still available. So he went back and he bought a house for 316. All right. Well, here's what he did with it. He couldn't call me up and said, what should I do? I said, well, sell it. He said, I don't want to sell stuff. I want to buy stuff. I said, okay, keep it then. So he called around the neighborhood to find out. He rented that property for $600 a month on a one year lease. The guy paid him $6,000 for the year. And he only invested $316. So there's some pretty nice deals out there. All right. Now, my friend Bob Schumacher, I showed him earlier, he bought one for less than it cost you to go to Denny's to have dinner. Less than Denny's. And he held on to it. It was a taxing. Spent like 24 bucks or something like that. No, it was $67. He sold it for $22,000. Wow. It's unbelievable. <laughs> How would you know that? See, you would never know this because the people that are doing it, they keep their mouth shut. Yeah. They don't want you at the auction. And making money but in the dark. <laughs> there's there's 5,000 auctions across the United States. You're close to Georgia. Your people could, could be going to every single month for the past 200 years. They've had an auction in every county in Georgia. And listen to this. There's 169 counties in Georgia. They have an auction every month. You don't have enough life left to go to the auctions in Georgia. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So do you go ahead? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So, so we, we got some questions coming in. Um, uh, really understand these tax lien certificates really seems like anybody can do it. Is there anything complicated about doing tax lien certificates? No, this was all invested uh, in, actually not invested, but invented 200 years ago. And quite frankly, 100 years ago, there was a lot of people that didn't read and write in the United States. So mm -hmm. if you can read and write, you can learn all this. As a matter of fact, it's so... It's so uh, easy to do now that you can go out and learn this on your own. You don't need Ted Thomas. You can go out and learn this on your own. It's going to take you 18 months or two years. All I did is create courses to accelerate the whole. People don't have patience today. So right. I can have people in two months' time buying. I can have people next week buying it, but I don't want to brag about that. But the, right. the point is, uh, in a couple of months' time, we can have any of your people, especially real estate people, they'll, right. they'll be into this. They'll have their fingers in the pie right away. That's well, sure. it, it just seems to me if, you, if you're getting the kind of double digit returns you've been talking about, there's a sense of urgency because you're not going to get double digit returns anywhere right now. Um, not right. unless you're willing to take, you know, tremendous amount of risk in the stock market. And we know what happens in the stock market when it, yeah. you know, when it gets as high as it has for the past several months is you typically Sherman, one place to go. Sherman, where, where are we going to buy a property 60, 70, 80% off a of exactly. retail? That's where it. are we going to do it? <laughs> My classes now that now we'll go back to physical classes next month. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm, I said, I thought you were a fixer upper guy. What are you doing in my class? She said, well, we got no deals anymore. Yeah. So all these fixer upper guys are coming to my class. I teach my class, sell the property to the fixer upper guys. Don't yeah. fix them. Buy it low, sell it low, get out, go do it again. Well, it, it's, almost the, it's almost the ultimate wholesale strategy because you literally could be buying properties all across the country for all pennies on the, the dollar and, yeah. then sell, and then selling them for a slight markup on eBay. 
exactly. or, or Facebook groups anywhere, I, anywhere in the country. Exactly. I have people now, uh, matter of fact, I had a couple over in, in uh, Wisconsin. They just bought a property and they sold it on Facebook. I never had anybody do that. They got I in the marketplace it. on Facebook yep. and they, they bought the property for 12,000. They ended up selling it and they did an installment sale. They bought it for 12,000. They sold it for 52. They made yep. $42,000. They did that in 60 days. Yeah. I mean, we, we're seeing more and more people use Facebook, use Meetup. It's amazing how many different ways there are to wholesale a property. The, the challenge, as you know, is finding the properties in the first place. So if this exactly. strategy gives me another source of, of uh, properties coming in, getting rid of it is easy. Finding properties. Watch this. Yeah. I showed, I showed this when we started. This is an auction in Los Angeles. See, it's 2019. All right. I'll, I'll have the new one. I, I, I didn't pick up the new one, but th this is the auction. Okay. They're going to have anywhere from 1,500, just Los Angeles now. It's not California. It's yep. just Los Angeles, 1,500 to 2,500 properties. Hmm. There's, there's properties in here. The starting bid will be a half a million dollars because it's such a big place. There's right. other ones that'll be $5,000. Now, if they go to other counties, more rural counties like San Bernardino and place yeah. in Kern County, they have 3,000 properties that they auction twice a year. They have mm -hmm. so many. It's just amazing. So, so this, this is a source that won't go away. In other words, this market is not going up and down like that. It doesn't, it stays this way the whole time, it stays uh, straight and even. And I'm going to show people videos on that. I'm trying to think about uh, 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 which video show, but I'll show them people buying outside of Los Angeles in California for less than right. 10 cents on the dollar. And I'll put a little video in so they can see it happening. So you told me about this guy was named Bill, Bill um... Williams. Yeah. So what's, yeah. what's his story? Well, his story is he's an analytical guy. He's a coach. He works from now. Uh, he was my video guy for years. He still does video for me. And I kept on to him. Try it. Try it. So he does his analytics. In Florida, the highest you can make is 18%. Now, don't ask me how he did it because he explained it how he did it. But right. he makes 19%. He makes 19 <laughs> I said, how can you make 19 It's only 18 is the max. And so he actually showed me how he makes 19 And he's going to show that in the class. He's actually cool. going to show the class. No, it's, it's legal now. It's not doing anything illegal. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. It just turns out in Florida, just give you a little hint, in Florida, if you buy a certificate today and they pay it off tomorrow, you get paid 5% for the day. For the day. Yeah. So nice. what if you bought a lot of them at 5%? <laughs> so you bought a lot of them at 5%, they got a lot of them at 14%, they got a lot of them at 17%. And so, he, every time he, get, he buys online, this is online, right? I mean, he's yeah. an analytical guy, just plays with the computer. And he'll call me, hey, Ted, I got a text. I said, well, I got a text today too. He said, no, I got a text from the bank saying they just made another deposit. <laughs> uh, you know, after you get about five of those in a week, you tell him, well, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so so I got a question for you. We got, we got a fair number of people in our group who, you know, they're sort of in a retired, semi-retired status. Perfect. And, Perfect. you know, they don't, they don't need money necessarily to live off of, but they want to stay active. Can you make like, uh, you know, extra 10, 20, $30,000 just sort of doing this on a part-time basis? Yeah, you, to make thirty thousand is going to going to take a little bit, but uh, definitely ten twenty thousand bucks a year is just a piece of cake. You don't have to go out and and I'll show some some videos on that. Uh, average person that buys tax lien certificates is a senior, right. and they are that because they just want to stay home. So sometimes yeah. instead of making the whole eighteen, it'll get bid down to eight percent. Sometimes it's bid down to twelve. Okay, then, but then, as soon as they get brave, they'll start thinking about Chicago. Okay. All right, now Chicago, Illinois, they will have. 50,000 certificates available wow. just in Cook County. Then the next county that is DuPage County, they'll have another 50,000. So you just pick and choose those things. Wow. Now, remember, we're going to teach them always look at what you're buying. Don't just buy a number. Yeah. So now they have satellites, the geographical system that goes around the world. Yeah. It's a whole, uh, they know what Google is and all that. This is much more sophisticated. The county gives it to you free. They yeah. can actually come right down and look they can say that probably's got a geranium on the front porch. <laughs> That's how good it is. So yeah. those seniors got plenty of time to play with that. You get about a 30 day notice before the sale even starts. So you always know it. So you can do everything online. Uh, I do business in a place in the middle of Florida called the villages. Nobody lives there under 65. Right. Okay. And those people come to the first class I ever did there, 12 people registered and 72 showed up. Wow. 72. I, I couldn't believe it. I said, where did all these people come from? No black hair in the room. You can't. I, I said, I got I to gotta go to China and find some black haired people. All white haired people. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
So, so I, I felt you know, right I, again, and I and it's probably the same group of people going, "Oh, this is too good to be true. No way." Um, oh, I'm listen, skeptical. What What do you say to somebody who's like, "Ah, this all right, that good." You, you know what? Um, I have a video that explains that better than anything. So I've been hearing that for thirty years. Yeah. So what I did is I hired an attorney. You okay. know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put his video on here. Okay. And this attorney will get on the and tell you that it's a real deal. Actually, I found out it was too good to be true. In the days when I was skinny and I had black hair, I tried to do an infomercial. So okay. I went to CBS and NBC yeah. and they said, gee, it sounds like a good idea, but it sounds too good to be true. Yep. So we're not going to let you put that infomercial on television. Interesting. Well, I ended up putting the infomercial on because I hired an attorney to come stand right there in front of the audience and say, folks, this is how they collect the taxes in the United States. This is what happens. And, and I'll put that on here so these guys can see it. So we contacted real estate expert, attorney, and the author of the New York Times bestseller, How Come That Idiot's Rich and I'm Not. <laughs> Welcome now, Robert Scheman. Thank you so much for joining us today. Lynn, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Now, Robert, Ted Thomas has been telling us about tax certificate investing and how it is a government-backed program and totally legal. And we wanted to verify with an outside legal and real estate expert like yourself that what Ted is saying is true. Well, it's not only for real and it's not only absolutely true, but it's legal and it's statutory. It's not just out there as some investment. This is backed, approved and written by state governments. This is how the governments collect their tax money when people don't pay their property taxes. So is it safe to say that this is not a far-fetched, get-rich-quick scheme, and that tax certificates are a predictable, certain, and secure investment that is government-sponsored and backed up by property tax laws in each state? That's right. They occur everywhere. Wherever there's a property tax to be collected, they're legal, they work, the returns can be absolutely fantastic, and this is all for real. Robert, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today and sharing your expertise. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Nice, nice. That good? Yeah, there's, a, there's a famous guy, um, many people may not know him, but they can Google him. His name is Barry Sternlick. And Barry many Sternlich. people, yeah, Barry Sternlick. You and I know who he is, but a lot of people don't. Know him. He's the guy who bought Starwood. He was the one that bought Sheraton out of bankruptcy. Cool. And he bought it from the uh, federal agency that was selling off uh, defaulted properties back in the 80s. And he, at the time, he was working on Wall Street. He wasn't really thinking about it. But his father said to him, he said, Barry, anytime the government's selling, you want to be buying because the government doesn't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said it because if I say it, they say, oh, that guy Thomas is just selling me something. <laughs> but it's absolutely true. Now, I'll tell you how true it is. Okay. So I'm going to hold out Sullivan County. Now, this is staggering. I bought a house there. I bought yeah. a house for $40,000 uh -huh. and I sold it for 217. Mm -hmm. All right, now it was used and abused and I had to spend some time, it was on four acres, had yep. its own pond with a spring in front of it, had deer in the backyard and in the front it had beavers, okay? And this property was <laughs> unbelievable. I bought it for 40 grand, yep. you know what? The people, the people in New York City had no idea that that property was for sale. Mm. That's how the government, so the government in that county and in every county, is only advertising in that county. That's crazy. So that's dumb. It's crazy. They should be online dumping all yeah. this stuff out into the world and the rest of it. So as long as they keep doing that, I get the best damn business in the world because I can say, <laughs> all right, you want to know, you want to know another one? Let me get you another one. I just get another. All right. What county? This is Franklin County. Well, I happen to know that's that's I bought a property there also. And, and those property, they're over by Syracuse. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't matter where it is. Here's the product. They even show me pictures. Nice. It's unbelievable. The people in this county don't know anything's for sale two counties away. I have databases. Uh, I can sit in your office. Yeah. I can sit right where you're sitting right now. I can take out a little uh, USB drive and I can plug it into your computer. And from your desk and from your chair, you can see every property in the United States. I have databases to do that. So we can research every single property before we ever go to an auction. Now, when you, when you do this training that's coming up pretty soon, you show yeah. us how to do this kind of stuff. Well, I can show a limited amount. I can't get it all done because- Sure, in sure. In, in, in but you kind of walk us through it and we can actually see this. Yeah, you'll, they'll time. get to see this step by step. And I'll show them how I, I buy property. I'll even show them properties that I do. I'm a player. 
Uh, yeah. This is what I do. I not only buy and resell them, but I, I teach people how to do it. I'll show them properties that I bought for 30 cents on the dollar that they would live in. Excellent. So guys, coming up real quick, Ted has an event coming up this coming up weekend. Um, and there's limited seating. And in fact, if you don't act now, you might have to go on the wait list for the next time he does this, which could be a couple months down the road. But if you right. want to go ahead, take action, learn this business, be in there, be in there with me and all the guys who want to learn how to do this stuff, working from home, working from your computer, working literally from anywhere in the world, including a beach chair. You want to go to TaxLeanInsiderSecrets.com, TaxLeanInsiderSecrets.com. Um, Ted, just real quick, tell us what we're going to experience when we come to your event. When they come to the event, they're going to be surprised, so they should be ready. I would tell them to uh, bring a notepad with them. Uh, the video is comprised of four to five different speakers. Uh, we're going to teach them about tax lien certificates, and we'll teach you some of the inside secrets there. We'll definitely teach you, because I know you're, a lot of you people are really skewed to it, real estate. Uh, those people, we're going to show them how to buy tax defaulted property, okay. 60, 70, 80. And I'm going to show you people. I will show you. They'll come on the screen, yeah. and they'll say, I paid I paid six cents on the dollar for this property in Los Angeles. Nice. Six cents on the dollar. Okay, I'll have other people doing the same thing in other states. So this is a real, this is an intense training. It's going to last from 11 in the morning through 5.30 at night. So I hope you guys will sign up and be there. There's a small charge, is $47. The only reason I'm even charging money because I know you'll show up if you spend the 47 bucks. <laughs> and there's, there's, there's no airfare, there's no hotel, None oh, of that yeah. stuff. This oh, is a God. bargain in any universe. You'd be stupid, crazy not to yeah. be there with us. So again, it's TaxLeanInsiderSecrets.com to get all the information and sign up. Ted, I'll give you the last word. What do people need to know? Okay, what they need to know is, is just show up and be uh, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Not, not to worry. You can eat and drink and do everything right there. The only thing we don't want you to do is we want you to cover your camera up when you walk down the hall. <laughs> Uh, some, people, some people take the camera with them. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you go to the bathroom, turn that's it not a good, yeah, That's not a good graphic. <laughs> that's not a good, not a good graphic. Yeah, yeah. Good, good to see you. You too, Ted. Okay. All right. Bye.